breaking news, but Donald Trump has been found liable of dealing damages to E. Jean Carroll by abusing her and also defaming Ms. Carroll. And Trump must now pay E. Jean Carroll $5 million U.S. million. If you look at the verdict form here, it would show that on the most serious charge, Trump was found not liable. But on the second charge and on the defamation counts, Trump was found liable and must pay Ms. Carl $2.02 million for the battery charge and $2.98 million on the defamation counts. But would this really have an impact, positively or negatively, on Trump in 2024 in terms of a presidential election run? Well, most GOP pundits say it wouldn't hurt him with the Republican voters, and it may not hurt him at all with independents or Democrats. Democrats are probably not going to vote for him either way, and Republicans, though they may not see this as a good thing for Trump, Again, I don't think this will make much of an impact. The independent voters are pretty interesting, though. At the end of the day, this is not the brightest thing, especially with a civil conviction. Being found liable of such a thing is definitely not going to help you. But nonetheless, Trump, this Trump is no unfamiliar person to these types of accusations and he has definitely been able to survive through all of them and I think this one will be no different. Though this is not a good thing for Trump, I don't think this will actually have a negative impact on him. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments. And finally, just before we leave, if you look at the New York indictments, it has actually helped his approval rating. Just before the indictments, Trump had around an unfavorable rating of about plus 18. But today, he has an unfavorable rating of just 7.5 points, which is significantly lower thanks to most Americans. Almost three-fourths, according to polls, consistently show that Americans believe that politics played either some role or a huge role in the indictments. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.